Hello there everyone. Yes, I am back. Back again. Uh, no, it's not Slim Shady. I'm sorry, I've sort of gone and come back more times than Arnold Schwarzenegger over the last month, um, but I think I have everything sorted now. I'm here to talk to you guys about EGX London, which has fully sort of revitalised and re-motivated me to get back on this and reminded me of why I started it in the first place. It was a, a great weekend, played some great games and met some really, really cool people. So I'll just give you a bit of an overview about it. And if you stick around to the end, there's a chance to win uh, a code for the Evolve Alpha, which looks like a really, really promising game. I should mention as well, they're not actual dedicated Alpha keys. What these are is a chance for you to have a better chance of getting into the Alpha, kind of like you did when you signed up for Battlefield Hardline, but it's still something worth having. I I'm getting the impression a lot of people who sign up to this will get into the Alpha. I'll be surprised because they want as many people in it as possible to get it good coverage. So if you want a chance to be in the Alpha, you need one of these. So just follow the instructions and hopefully you'll get a chance to get into the alpha. So I'll start with what you can see in the background, which is Battlefield Hardline, uh, some gameplay from the beta. Yes, beta. I've been through this before. I say beta. And I did play this at uh, Eurogamer and enjoyed it just as much as the beta. I am still really confident that I'm going to love this game. And unlike Battlefield 4, where the routine tends to be turn on your PC, load up Battlefield 4, proceed to spend three hours smashing your face slowly and painfully into the desk, you then pull your head back and remove the remnants of your nose and front teeth from the mahogany wood to only turn it off and vow never to do it again for another month. Battlefield Hardline seems like you can drop in, have a few good games, have some fun and, and just leave relatively stress-free. So I'm really looking forward to Battlefield Hardline. It was hard to tell anything about the netcode because it was all LAN, so you can't really say anything about network performance. But gunplay, uh, map, and the map I was on was better than any map I've ever played on Battlefield 4. And I love the fact that it is just this new theme. It's just fun, arcadey, and I'm going to really enjoy it. So that may sort of promote me to make some Battlefield videos again. This channel will never go back to being just Battlefield, but Battlefield Hardline is something I'm interested in. Next up, I played some Far Cry 4, not 3. I almost said 3 then. It was good. Really enjoyed it. It was on PS4. I would have preferred to have a, a mouse and keyboard for that, but what can you do? You just go with what's there, and it's just more of the same. It is just think of Far Cry 3, but bigger, prettier, more stuff to do, and I don't think you'll be disappointed by Far Cry. We all know what to expect. We all know expectations will probably um, be delivered. Uh, I also played Mortal Kombat 10 or Mortal Kombat X. This is something I will probably get on release. I won't do that with, with Far Cry 4, uh, but Mortal Kombat I will get on release. I've played that since I was a kid, which is a bit worrying. Um, a little kid uh, playing such a graphic game like Mortal Kombat, cutting people's heads off. Uh, so if I ever go on a rampage, don't mention that because we don't need another case of people blaming video games for violence. But yeah, that was really good fun. Um, I really enjoyed Mortal Kombat and I will definitely get that on release because it's just something it's good to have for when your friends come around, have a few games of Mortal Kombat. And I got to get revenge on Matt the Musketeer for kindly vining me while I was on the toilet while we were down there. Uh, I kicked his ass on Mortal Kombat. Don't bother looking for that vine, it's not there anymore. But in the short time it was there, it was pretty funny, but I'm, I'm, I'm glad it's gone now. I also played a game called Valkyrie, which is like a, a space dogfighting sort of game on Oculus Rift, which was unbelievably cool. It's, virtual reality is is the next thing, and, and that just blew my mind. I had really good fun with that, so so definitely worth looking into. I also played a really cool World War One shooter called Verdun, which you'll probably see later on in the week. Spoke to the developers, really nice guys. Um, I'm going to have a couple of keys to give away as well, so keep your eyes peeled for that. That'll be coming either later this week or next week, hopefully. So there'll be details on how to get your chance to have hands on with this game as well. It's in Steam Early Access, currently retailing at £15. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I should have a few keys to give away, so so leave that one with me. We also, myself and Matt Musketeer, also went to the Assassin's Creed Unity session where they showed you a trailer, which actually gave me goosebumps. Um, I've not been excited about an Assassin's Creed for a long time, but this looks great. And then we saw some gameplay, and Assassin's Creed Unity, I think, is going to be a, a really, really special game. The, the new movement system, parkour system... Loads of different ways to take people down. It's not just like the old Assassin's Creed where you do the same thing over and over again, the same set of moves. Climbing doesn't look as static and as computerized. It just looks natural. The, the different ways you've got of taking people down, the possibilities with that game are literally going to be endless. So Assassin's Creed Unity, definitely. Even if, like me, you weren't interested in the series um, for the last few years. But the standout game for me was Bloodborne. No surprise there. The, the developers of Dark Souls. I played this on PS4 and you played until you died. So I was there for about 25 minutes because I refused uh, to die. I wanted to play that game for as long as I could. I think they got annoyed with me in the end. I didn't quite finish it though, which is a bit annoying. Lost concentration for a second and was instantly punished. So 
it's going to be like Dark Souls and Dark Souls 2 and Demon Souls. Difficult, challenging, but it feels different. It feels faster. They've changed the, the mechanics, the, especially with the rolls and the attacks. It just feels more polished. And for me, is the reason I'm going to buy a PS4. So I'll do a dedicated video on Bloodborne at some point because this is something you guys need to know about. Uh, so Bloodborne was the standout game. Standout thing for me, though, was just meeting everybody. Uh, we had a really good night on Friday night. We had drinks with Phil, Crafty Cockney. It was great to meet those two, even though all they did was take the piss out of my accent. Um, Tommy Hysteria, really nice guy. Septic Falcon, Matt the Musketeer, uh, Westy, Spanjay, Dolce, Minder, Greek. All these guys I've been friends with for a long time and, and finally got to, to meet face to face. Uh, Charboy, Azzy, Sergeant Red Phoenix. Uh, we had a really good chat with Pixel Twitch as well, a really nice guy. And a special shout out to Zero Annoyance, who's been a subscriber for a while. Um, he bought me a pint, for, uh, thanks for that. His channel, along with all the others, will be down in the description. But be super extra nice to him uh, because he bought me a pint. So links to everyone. I hope I don't miss anybody who I met while I was down there. will all be in the description. And honourable mentions to Story Machine, Shaved Ape, Lizard and Flo. It's, I was sorry you guys couldn't be there. It would have been really nice to see you guys again. But to sum up, uh, I'm back. Revitalised. I'm ready to go again. So expect videos. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you would like a chance to win Evolve, this is a game I wanted to play, but the queue was an hour and a half long, and unfortunately I was only there for the Saturday. Uh, I could have stayed for the Sunday as well, but I would have been leaving really early, so it didn't seem it didn't seem worth it. But I have five Evolve Alpha keys. I will probably use one myself, but the rest I can give away. So all you have to do is just let me know, either on here or on Facebook or Twitter, that, that you would like a chance to get into the Evolve Alpha. And also let me know if you do have a Twitter account, because I'll probably just direct message the winners. Uh, but until next time, you guys take care of yourselves and I hope to see you all very soon and it's good to be back.